I am about to head into Costco to do our January Costco haul. I actually had to run an errand on the other side of town where we used to live. And so I decided to take advantage of driving all this way and go to our old Costco uh, because the Costco that's near our new house is very, very busy. And the parking lot I think is smaller. So we are gonna run in and do our Costco haul. I have Charity with me as my helper. <laughs> Double air fryer. Oh, like Ninja girl. Oven air fryer. All kinds of air fryers. Man, air fryers have taken over the world, haven't they? Yeah. Mm. It still has a Dutch oven. Love it. I definitely don't need any cups, but I like those. Those are cool. Huh. We have those ones of the same brand, and they're great. So these look cool. Oh, it's got two size straws. Interesting. Can I push the cart? Sure. Oh, look, they have these ones too. These are the bigger size. Yeah. Wow. They're just all hydro flask here. These are nice. Thermo. Thermo flask, sorry. Thermo. Thermo flask. I love these. These are so cool. These are super cute. Set of 10 for $10.99. That's such a good deal. It's too bad I don't need any new bowls. Oh, these match those serving trays. Oh my gosh, those are so adorable. Oh, I really like those a lot. I have these in a different pattern and I love them. I love the lids. They are great. Uh, $18.99 for a six pack. Sure. Uh, you want to grab a thing of kombucha for dad? Those ones are on sale. Is this the kind you like? Blackberries, raspberries, blueberries, strawberries? Yes. Okay. And mango. Ooh, it's so cold. Get that in the cart. These are on sale. They look good. I've never tried them, but they look good. Should we sample some keto bread? I don't think so. Okay. What else do we need, Charity? That's what I brought you here for. What else do we need? You gotta look at this real fast. Anything that says keto is so popular these days. Let's look at the ingredients. Eight grams of carbs, two grams of total sugar, sweetened with some erythritol. Let's see, milk, cream, milk protein, cornstarch, natural flavor, fruit pectin, stevia, sea salt, granola, sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, coconut, almond, pecans, erythritol butter. The ingredients aren't terrible, actually. Wow. Sometimes you turn this over and you just see sugar as an ingredient, but this one doesn't seem to have that. The only thing that's a little bit weird is the cornstarch but obviously there's not much of it, so. Interesting. Bacon? Turkey bacon? No, even though it's on sale, I'm not getting it. I'm gonna get these. Little Smokies. Yeah. That's sad. Yeah. Not that it worries us, because we have our own eggs, but that is not a good thing. Gotta grab some chomps. Gotta keep a pack of chomps on, on hand because Levi needs healthy snacks for whenever he leaves the house. He's always gotta have all of his like armload of snacks to take and I do like to have some healthier just options. Put the goats out or something. Yeah, just, just to go outside, you gotta take a snack. Are there, is there one that's pretty ripe? That's close to ripe, and then we'll get one that's pretty green. 
Okay. Like this. Oh yeah, that one. I like eating green bananas. They're not you do. super green, but like almost. Just a little bit green. You don't like them mushy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Almost yellow. Yeah. A good price. Oh wait, these are these are ground coffee. I don't want ground coffee, and they don't have my San Francisco Bay that I like. So Costco actually is starting to get some decent baking stuff for keto. This is erythritol and monk fruit, and then check this out over here. They have the Bake Believe chocolate chips, dark chocolate, no sugar added. 11.49, 5.40, 74 per pound. That's not too bad. Those are the ingredients. So it's, it's nice to see that more somewhat decent keto baking stuff is available. Now this is new. I wonder what's in there. Sugar, first ingredient. How sad. Oh, they have a smoked paprika. I'm gonna grab that. Yeah. That's the spray, which actually, let's go ahead and grab one of those. Oh, here it is. They have all the avocado oil together. How convenient. All right, so this one is $15.99 per pound. That one's $10.99 per pound. The only difference is this one's not organic. Is this ours? That's a, yeah, I put that in there. Oh. Spiceology. I've heard good things about Spiceology, but I've never tried it, and I've never seen it at Costco before. I imagine this is going to have sugar in it. It's just a guess. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Honey granules. Sugar. Brown sugar. <laughs> oh, I bet it tastes good. Oh, they do have my coffee. Yay! They just have it on an end cap. Yeah, grab one. Yep. All right, and then we need toilet paper and paper towels. I haven't seen this here for a while, so definitely gonna grab one of those. I've never tried this buffalo sauce, just mostly because I can make it with butter and franks, and I really like it, but um, this one, if you can't do dairy, this one has, um, Oh, I thought it had cashews in it, but maybe I'm wrong. It has avocado oil and potato starch, but only one carb per tablespoon. Nah, I'd rather just do the butter and the franks. Levi was hankering for pepperoni, I think yesterday, and we did not have any. So we better stock up on pepperoni for Levi. I think that's enough. I mean, Levi would say it's not enough, but I would say it is enough. For now. You grab one. Jeff needs his tortilla chips. No. Our car is gonna overflow. Yeah, it's a possibility. So, the kids' favorite almond flour crackers are supposed to be on sale. Yes, so we're gonna stock up. Did you see these? These are on sale. So we're gonna stock up. Let's get, let's see, there was a limit. Let's get six, because the limit's six. We'll stock up for a while. Uh, if we can fit them in our cart. Got them? Um, yeah. And some can go in here. You got how many? That's three. Three, four, five, five and six. Six. Ooh. We got a lot of stuff here. Oh, I know it. Yeah. I had to stop and check out this salted eggs, salmon skin. Oh dear, salmon skin, vegetable oil, salted duck egg yolk. Wow, wow, interesting. Nineteen seventy-nine. Yep. Okay. Place your Come on. Thank you. Eleven, 
Charity, I think we did it. I think so. This is the biggest Costco haul we've done in a while. It's so windy. You don't let that receipt blow away, young lady. I'm off. Hold it on. We are home from the store and let me show you everything that we got. I'm going to start with the non-food items. If you hear some pitter-patter, it's these two causing trouble. Trouble. So, of course, paper towels, uh, toilet paper. I got a set of two pants for Levi. I, I wonder if he'll have to grow into these. Um, we'll see. But... Got those, and then two pairs of pants for me. I got a pack of kitchen garbage bags and a big bag of baking soda. Here is the food. So we'll start over here. I got one pack of these little Smokies. Everybody loves these. I got a pack of butter. I've been keeping a lot of this in the freezer and using it for my frozen shredded butter for the different egg white breads. Um, I got a pack of Kerrygold Unsalted, and the reason I got this, I usually don't get unsalted, but I made a batch of the um, brown butter bites that have been so popular recently, and um, I made it with salted butter, and then I also put a packet of um, caramel chocolate element in there, and with that, plus the salted butter, it was too much salt, so I thought I would try it with unsalted because the flavor was really good. It just had a little bit too much salt. So that's why I got that. And then I got some frozen berries for the kids for their smoothies and things. Same thing for the mango. And then um, got a package of sausage patties for breakfasts. Stocked up majorly on pepperoni. Got three packs of those. Two bunches of bananas. Cheese sticks because the kids live on those. Um, a pack of Gala apples, two bags of organic tortilla chips for my husband. He always has to have chips and salsa on hand for emergencies. Um, these were on sale, so I grabbed two of them for easy little snacks for the kids. It's a pretty good brand with pretty solid ingredients for what it is, um, but it's kind of a treat thing for like when we go on our hikes and stuff. Then I got... Um, Two gallons of A2 organic whole milk for the kids. I got a box of the, let's see, mango passion fruit hum kombucha for my husband. I stocked up on these. We love these crackers. The whole family loves these crackers. They're not keto, but they're not far from it. It's more of like a paleo-ish type snack that everybody likes. So I stocked up on those. It was limit six with the um, discount. And they don't go on sale very often, so I decided to go ahead and stock up. So I got six. There's the other five down there. I got this um, Parmesan cheese. I've gotten this before at Costco, but it's kind of hit or miss if they're going to have it or not. So I decided to go ahead and grab it because I saw it and it is very good. Um, I got a thing of smoked paprika because we used that up. Two packs of chomp sticks to stock up for, you know, more hiking snacks and stuff. So like if the kids grab a chomp stick and a granola bite, I think that's a pretty good snack for their little little kid metabolisms. Then I got a bag of my favorite organic rainforest blend coffee, some avocado oil, and some avocado oil spray. Oh, what happened to the dried mango? Oh, I put it in the other bag. Charity was munching on this in the car. I just got a big bag, let's see, two and a half pounds of organic dried mango for their trail mixes. So the total that I spent was $471.89. That's the biggest Costco haul I've done in a while, I think. Um, but I feel like I got a lot of food for that, so I I'm happy with it. Um, you'll notice that I don't buy a lot of fresh meat at Costco. I tend to buy like all of our processed meats there. And we don't eat only processed meats. We eat a lot of fresh meat. But I don't find that Costco is the cheapest place to get it. I typically shop sales at other grocery stores like um, Safeway and Fred Meyer. So I'll go there at least once a week and pick up whatever's on sale. Um, so it's kind of disproportionate. Our Costco haul just doesn't have the fresh meat in it and lots of processed meat, but that's not the majority of the meat in our diet. So here is a quick scan of the receipt so you can see the prices on the things. Oh, I for also forgot to show you, we got a rotisserie chicken. Uh, Charity really wanted one of those. So we grabbed that and I don't know where it got put. We gotta, we gotta find that. Um, but here's the scan of the receipt. So 
So thanks for shopping with me and Charity today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will just see you again in the next one.